Hey what's up and this is Arun and welcome to my channel for excursion. In the previous tutorial we have learned about dodge and burn. Why dodge and burn is so important. So in this tutorial I will show you the different techniques of dodge and burn. So this is my image. Uh, there is a very special uh, fundamentals in the Photoshop destructive and non-destructive. I will clear it to you in the next tutorial. So I will do this dodge and burn using non-destructive way. So make a new layer, press shift F5 on the keyboard, then you will get a new dialog box. I want to fill this empty layer with the 50% gray. If you are not getting, then you can set 50% gray and click on OK. So a 50% gray color will be filled into this layer now set its blending mode to overlay so we have a very special this command dodge and burn so i will try to firstly this dodge then you will get some option here so i always prefer to work with the mid tones it depends sometime but most of the time we work with the mid tones exposure this is very important and uh, i always try to uh, starting in between you can say 15 or 20 and it is very mandatory to understand the image uh, understand the quality of the light in the image and it also depends on the image its value but i always start from this value if i need more dodge then i can increase the value for this exactly all these settings you can apply while doing dodge and burn Highlights is the area where we are getting the white pixel and shadow is the area where we are getting the black pixels. So dodge, I will apply on the white pixels. Keep in mind that. So here I'm getting light, here I'm getting light. So I will increase the brush. Now light is directly hitting on this part. Now you can see a highlight is coming to this area i will boost its value now you can see before and after before and after okay now make it zoom and i will apply doge here directly i'm hitting light highlights there i will boost these highlights so that it can make more attractive so this is the real secret of applying dodge and burn i will show you before and after so that you can feel the difference why it is so important Now you can see a difference between both. If you make it uh, more than press Ctrl J on the keyboard, then we'll get a more effect of this dodge. Before and after, before and after, a big difference is there. You can reduce the opacity of this layer. It is depend on your taste or the image. Uh, how much effect you want basically dodge and burn is a part of contrast so you can say in the terms like uh, it is manual contrast where you want white contrast where you want black contrast so it's totally depend on you okay now I'm making another layer so i will apply burn press Shift F5 on the keyboard. Fifty-percent gray. I want set its blending mode to overlay, and this time I will choose this burn. So I think uh, already I have so much of black in the image. I don't think so. 
we need so many uh, but okay this is fine now same thing I will reduce the value for this I am working with the mid tones okay this is fine Now you can see before and after before and after we are getting more 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 effect on here similarly i will apply burn here so that i can increase the black amount of contrast select this layer again select this dodge and I will apply a dodge to the catch light now you can see this is before and this is after select this layer and uh, make a mask on there I want to reduce its value of a dodge on the hair mm, now choose brush Now see so dodge and burn gives dimension to the face or di dimension to any object or subject so further I can do some I can reduce the value around the edges so that I can create vignetting Select this mask. I want to create vignetting. This is my manual way to vignette. Okay, this is looking so cool. And, uh, control D. Now you can see this is before and this is after. So by using this uh, dodge and burn technique, you can create images in very extraordinary way. So I have uh, so many techniques of dodge and burn. This is the this is the right way to do the dodge and burn. So and this is all non-destructive way of editing. So make a new group and I will shift all these values to this before and after okay now i will do the same thing but with the different techniques by using this curve light i will increase the highlights firstly before and after i will fill this black and white uh, this control backspace oh, sorry hot backspace and choose your brush I will apply brush where I'm getting where we want this uh, dodge part best a little bit I want to reduce again you can see I'm getting the same result but the technique is different but the result is same You have to adjust the opacity or you can uh, working with this transfer I want to transfer now see before and after before and after even you can increase the value right now where how much of dot you want before and after before and after okay select so this mask again and I will apply here now you can see 
before and after before and after now make a new layer again sorry control z and uh, i want this curve adjustment again now this time i will work with the burn part okay now fill it with black and apply a mask okay now choose your brush select this mask button where we want black now see that before and after so there are many ways to do the same thing now see that before and after i did the same thing but with a different technique so you can use any of the technique like uh, you can use also also this uh, level and uh, so this is a different technique so i hope you got the importance of the dodge and burn and uh, which is the best way for you you have to decide it uh, always keep in mind that you have to work with the non destructive way so that uh, in future you can change the values anytime so i hope you can understand this thing so thank you friends keep watching our own creation